So, mechanical keyboards. They're a thing, right? This actually isn't a mechanical keyboard. It's a uh, an old membrane keyboard that I just happen to have around. This was from the 90s and had, I had it with the first family computer, which was a Dell Optiplex, which I have another one up there now, which they'll probably have a video about at some point. But I'll get that out of the way. Yeah, mechanical keyboards are definitely a thing. I like them. This is a little test setup thing, which has switches, two of them are missing. And this brings me on to the thing I'm going to talk about, which is keycap grab bags. Now there's a company called Signature Plastics, uh, also they have a shop online called Pimp My Keyboard, and they do grab bags. I got one. Um, probably a stupid thing, but uh, I just wanted to try it once. They're sold in five pounds, which is some ancient measurement. Um, I'll put the metric equivalent down below. But um, they come with all sorts, and it's completely random. You do get some defective keys, but it's it's uh, mainly from sets and overruns, and there are some duplicates. So I'll go through some of the interesting ones with you, and uh, I'll show you what I've got. So let's start with special keys because that's probably the bit that most people are going to be interested in. That's in this bag. I'm going to have to edit out all of these loud noises, aren't I? Now the main consistence, consistent of these are these clear DSA keys and there's 53 of them. But, got some weird red keys, but in there as well I do have some Star Wars keys. Uh, I think it's just this three, which I don't know if the GoPro can focus in that uh, close, but I have and there, I have Vader and some text that's unreadable, but that's a I can't remember the <laughs> the name. So we've got things like. Uh, that little face. Some of these keys which have little uh, windows which are quite similar to the way I added added a window to one of my keys. These are obviously like shot with clear plastic from behind. A lot of these are some of these are die sublimated which means they are printed essentially. Some of them are double shot which is what this is which means it's had an inner piece of plastic and then the other plastic mould around the outside really big enter key which is a bit strange yeah mostly these clear ones which are quite nice DSA is the style I got for my uh, Dolch setup that's on my main keyboard was on my main keyboard I should say and, and that's that style uh, so they match and they're all flat they're all the same profile which will be relevant later some bad ones like that's not printed properly or not molded properly some with strange symbols I don't recognise. Mm. Diamonds? Not sure. Uh, that looks a mess. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Iron? Not sure. The other from different sets. That one's one of the ones with a customizable. Some of they sell some that are customizable, so you can make your own. Uh, label and put that inside. That's what that's meant to be. And uh, conveniently had one of the caps with one of those keyboards. And yeah, there's just some other strange, strange ones. So that's the sort of special key set. Mm -hmm. I do quite like those. They'll look good with LEDs. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next set now and get those ready to show you. This is the bag of proper defects. So there were a couple of defects in the other one. These are proper defects. And I'm not going to go through all of these because they're... Uh... Oh no, there is one really interesting one in here. So yes, I will go through these. Uh, so we have normal shift key, but you can see that moulding at the back. The, the two-shot moulding it is all wrong. And <clears throat> cash. Cash, cash. 
Hmm. Escape. Yes, you will. So, yeah, a lot of the same kind of things. The most interesting... Oh, that one's quite interesting. Because it's half of a key. It's melted. And it's, it's just half of the plastic. Pretty interesting. That one's also half of a key. Or not even that. Maybe a quarter of a key. But the most interesting thing... I don't know if I'll need a background for this, is is this one, which is a clear key. Well, it says, it literally says clear. But this is, excuse me, this is the inner uh, moulding. So this will be inside the outer plastic to be the letters. And then the other plastic is moulded around it. But as you can see, this is the inner part. And it's incredible how fine the detail is in the letters. Hopefully they're in focus. But yeah, the letters are incredible detail. Um, yeah, and although these are completely useless, I find them quite interesting to look at. It shows the process of uh, moulding. That one is a printed key, but it's obviously gone in sideways or something. But it conveniently landed in the bin. Right, that's that lot. I'll get these back in the bag. I might even fish that other one out of the bin. Refund. The irony. Okay, have a bunch of these are like OEM style keys in here. Um, I'll just get a few out because then I'll stop making the noises. Yeah, these are just standard OEM style keys. F. Some of them are, are domed. Um, are they might be? Some of those might be DSA. Although I think the profile's wrong. These all come from one similar set. That's very similar to a DSA key. Some of them are sculpted as well, whereas DSA wouldn't. So they may be. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. These are definitely. They have a certain sculpt to them. I don't pretend to know all of the different key key types, keycap types. That again has a very distinctive sculpt to it. Um, they're all basically the same. They appear to all be from one set. Have some more strange DSA keys here, which are in a bag that is really too small for them. Uh, I never did find a lot of these are from certain special sets as well, uh, and I never did really find what these were from. These are probably quite hard to see because they're black on grey, uh, printed, well, die sublimated rather than being double shot and they that one has a number which is readable but these are all sort of symbol keys maybe from a different language uh, they are all those if anybody recognizes what these are mm. Mm. No, that's a one so I recognize that one so it isn't just as easy as going on the uh, pimp my keyboard website and looking up these sets because they don't always match a real set that's available. Another eye. Lots of eyes and strange symbols. Damage. And these also come from um, POS systems, which is why you had refund and cash. So they, they really don't all make sense. Mm, that looks like a Greek symbol to me. Not sure, but that's that little set. And these are all, uh, well actually that's sculpted as well, but most of these are unsculpted DSA, which again is, is what I have. Now we have a big bag of DSA. I'm not going to bore you to death with all of these. Some space bars, unsculpted DSA, some strange, it's a single step. So these are from machines as well as POS systems. Some blank, which are always useful. You, you could print these if you needed to. Another sculpted key, very similar to the ones we just had. I'm not sure why it wasn't in the box, uh, in the bag with those. Then some particularly interesting ones. Again, not sure what machines these will be from. POS machines. This is a huge. I think I got two or three of these which are big, big buttons. Uh, yeah, same. Oh, this sounds very much like 
it's like Lego. So reminds you of Lego. No sale. Like the refund key we had earlier. Total. Total yes. Sign out. Uh, there's one in here. Split ship. Not sure. Place call. So yeah, from terminal systems and all sorts. This one is other function. Q. So presumably these would these would be on keyboards that had normal keys as well, but then these will be placed on the uh, on the keyboard. And that one has a fault with it. And yeah, lots and lots of these. I haven't used any of these yet, although they are DSA and they do match the the Dolch set I have. Uh, what does that one say? Oh, fuel. Hmm. So presumably from a, uh, a sales system that one. Yeah. Lots and lots of those. <clears throat> Jog. Turret. Ooh, turret counterclockwise. Nice. But yeah, I'm not going to spend all day going on about those. These are more more OEM style keys. Uh, very, very similar yeah, to standard OEM styles. And different colours. Some have things like triple zero. Which you can just see through there, triple zero. Some different colours in them. Nothing particularly exciting about these ones. Yeah, just normal keys. So move on from those pretty swiftly. Because some more OEM shape keys. Uh, standard OEM shape. These ones are all blue and they're all blank. normal. The reason I'm skipping through is because I want to spend a bit more time on SA keys, which are the main thing I wanted, and I'm quite pleased to say I got quite a lot of. These are from, I think these are from a certain set. These are also OEM style, red and white, double shot. Oops, I've just lost some more keys on the floor. Double shot, as you can see the red behind. Yeah. Not really enough to do anything with, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, a few blank, blank purple DSA keys. Uh, these are just single shot, not printed with anything at all. A few number, uh, DSA keys with numbers. So these are, um, some of these are particularly sculpted, otherwise they're just, that one's sculpted. Some of them are just flat, plain keys. Now these will be a perfect replacement for the DSA Dolch that I have. Uh, possibly I had some uh, with the original set that were black for the numpad keys. And these do seem to mostly be numpad. On to the main thing I wanted to talk about. SA keys. Or the different variations of large keys similar to SA. So SA is similar to the sort of keys you would have had on Commodore 64 for example, that's the example I like to use. And I wanted to try SA because I want the bigger keys. Um, <clears throat> without buying a whole set this was the best way to, uh, to try them. Uh, so I got some and again uh, I won't show you them all because, well, it'll become apparent there are quite a lot of them. So this is one of the largest DS, uh, sorry, SA keys. This is the top row, and all the rows are essentially different. A couple of these, quite a lot of these similar ones, unmarked. The uh, one of the other uh, sort of characteristics of a uh, an SA key is they're usually quite shiny, and double shot so you get really nice crisp uh, prints. Quite a few planet ones like that from whatever set. Another blank one which shows off how shiny they are and that's sort of typical of what you would see on vintage computers. You'd see them shiny. A very long space bar which is no use to me <laughs> unfortunately. <clears throat> More printed ones like backspace. A uh, single space backspace which is what you'd have on some keyboards it's not on any of the keyboards I have 
<coughs> showing some of the profiles again. Very much a characteristic, but nice sharp corners there. Very nice printed plastics. So F6. The quality of these is superb. Really is good. Um, let's get one of the big shift keys out. Really nice bright blue. Oh, that one isn't actually shift, this one is. They're basically the same key. Of course, lots of different keyboards have lots of different <coughs> spacings and key sizes, so they've had to cover those. It'll Again, it, I'll mention that in a minute. So, uh, yeah, nice blue. One double shot, one not. Uh, just not with any internal uh, moulding. And yeah, very much the same thing, some different sizes, an alt key in that colour. But most of that is the same uh, kind of thing. <clears throat> that was a mixture. Then we have some keys which are from specific sets. These ones are all from the same set purple and cream, and that may just be a, a run of a certain colour that uh, they, they overran on, so I've got the 7 and 5 uh, up and a delete. Those are the same, these three are the same profile, but this is a much sharper profile. So that's from that set. <coughs> <coughs> Have some in navy blue and red, or pink. Nice enter key, very nice double shot style. Very nice. Again, more relevant for uh, ANSI keyboards rather than ISO. <coughs> ISO. <coughs> Excuse me, ISO being what I use. Backspace. Yep. Very similar. There's an abort in there. So we have abort menu aux so auxiliary key <laughs> wipe. Why would you have wipe? So yeah, not sure the purpose of these. They don't look like necessarily a normal keyboard. EDL. Hmm. <clears throat> not sure. Then we have, then we have um, more sort of navy blue with uh, kind of light purple, lilac-y colour, which contains the mythical super key, and again all similar styles of keys with the big legends, double shot, very nice big chunky shiny keys, quite heavy. Uh, some single space control keys, you know, page up all the standard ones. Well, not all of them, but uh, standard keys nonetheless. Big chunky shift key. Quite a few of those. I haven't counted them all. Now, the um, this isn't SA, as far as I can tell. This is SAP. Snowcap. These are specifically from the SAP Snowcap set. Now SAP being uh, not sculpted. These are all flat, I believe. I could be talking rubbish. Now that is clearly sculpted, but these have... Um, oh, these are the non-double shot as well. These have a very distinct texture, which I really don't like. <laughs> they feel dirty to me. Uh, they, some of them come with blue printed die sublimated legends, you can see that. They're very bright on the screen. Some of them come with blue, some of them come with... I think uh, some of them did come with red, but I might not have any. Uh, some of them with black. There's a couple of uh, grey ones in there. Mm -hmm. away. So yeah, a few of those. And there's another one, which is elsewhere, which we'll come back to. <clears throat> Lots of this set, which I'm not absolutely sure of this set. Um, let's get a handful out. I'll probably have to mute this bit. 
Right, these are clearly all from the same set, or from the same run, and they all have, as well as your normal buttons, they all have a separate language character set. <clears throat> and I don't know what it is. And I haven't been able to find it on their website, although they do have a lot of other others listed. Really nice planet there as well. Critically as well, the, these ones aren't sculpted. Every row every row of these is the same. The sun as well. Great symbol keys. Yeah, they're all the same. So the the keyboard would be completely flat, similar to DSA. Now I don't I didn't have enough of these particular ones to do a whole keyboard. I don't know if there are any duplicates. Oh yeah, there's a duplicate of G straight away. Yeah, lots of duplicates here. So really, I've shown you most of what there is to see. What? How can the camera be too hot? How can the camera be too hot? Can you believe it? The, uh, the GoPro turned itself off. But anyway, I was just finishing with these. These are all the same style, with lots of duplicates. And we're coming on to coming on to the last bag. Another SA set, which are clearly all from the same. And these are proper SA. In most cases, they're double shot if they have a legend. If they are, they don't, they aren't. And again, really nice, shiny, rather than the SAP, which had a texture. Shiny keys, all the standard ones. I don't think there are any fancy ones in here. Nice, big legends. Uh, yeah, nothing else fancy to show you in there, just a bag full of those. And they're all really nice keys. So anyway, what was the point of showing you all of these? Well, I didn't think I'd be able to make a keyboard. I wanted to try the essays, but I didn't think I'd be able to make a full keyboard. You know, I did this with some of the spares. Let's try the different, these are cherry key, um, key switches. But actually, <clears throat> I was able to make a full keyboard. <laughs> Turn the light down a bit so you can see the legends a bit better. But this is full, uh, uh, all of the SA keys, and only a few of them, such as this backspace here, which is supposed to be zero, but it's an upside down backspace, only a few of them are actually wrong. Uh, the rest are either generic keys, blank keys that I've used, or uh, the correct keys. So most of them, so we've got a quirt here, which is fine. This one here, that's a snowcap key, and that's the only one, the rest of them are correct, and the different rows are mainly correct. This is the point where the uh, blue keys, which are all flat profile, that's where they stand out. As you can see against the zero there, it, the uh, hyphen and uh, underscore key is, is a totally different size and shape. Don't use it very much, doesn't cause me a problem. The V key is the same versus the B. It doesn't really, whoops, I just knocked the arm, doesn't really cause me any problems. We've got things like the super key, which is doing its job. The any key, another one of the space keys. We've got a couple of quite fancy keys here. That one's a wolf, brilliant. Those are quite nice. Had to use a code key. This keyboard has quite strange, this is a um, Cooler Master MK750, has quite strange spacing, so obviously we have no ISO enter. There was a DSA one, but uh, not not for SA. So I use this key here, it's absolutely fine. I don't miss it. Nice big backspace, same as the one down there. Used a couple of these. And um, yeah, I really like SA. Nice big red escape key. I like these, and um, I think when, well, eventually I'll buy a, an SA set. I can always move back to my uh, DSA Dolch whenever I want to, just switch them back over. But uh, I think I'll go for these. These are, this is Cherry Brown. They certainly make a good sound. 
even though it looks like a complete mess. <laughs> I'm not sure what the roll key would be. Why would that be in roll? And why would it be in a, uh, a DSA set in that, that row? Sorry, an SA set in that row. Because um, obviously it's sculpted to be there or at the top row. But um, yeah, so that's the deal with the grab bags from Signature Plastics. Yeah, it's completely silly to buy one, but if you want to buy one, they'll be in stock at some point. I just grabbed one because I could, and uh, I thought it was a bit of a laugh. So, um, yeah, hope you found that vaguely interesting. Cheers. <laughs>